teaching you guys how to make a tote bag. Yes, you will need to notice use a sewing machine for this project and if you don't, it's super easy to make. Okay, so to make the tote bag, you'll need inner fabric. Mine is royal blue and it's much thinner than the outer fabric. Obviously, you'll need outer fabric. It can be any design and it'd be great if it matches the lining. The essentials are a sewing machine, thread, scissors, pins, a ruler, and like chalk. Uh, batting is another layer and it's optional, but it's a great way to make your bag sturdy. I didn't use batting in this video, but you will just cut two pieces for batting to go in the outer fabric. Also, ask any questions in the comments below as I'm not great at this kind of thing. To start, lay out your first piece of fabric and decide how big you want your bag to be. I want my bag to be 15 by 13 inches, so I added a half inch seam allowance around it for sewing. You will need two pieces of the inner lining and two pieces of outer fabric, both the same size. If you would like to add batting, cut two pieces of it that are the same size as your outer fabric. Now you should have four layers of fabric excluding the batting. Just so you know, it took me an hour and a half to make this DIY while I was filming. Next, figure out the depth of your bag. Then cut out a square from the bottom corners of your bag for all the layers of fabric. For example, I cut out two squares that were 3 by 3 inches for the two corners on the long end of the rectangle. This will create about a 3 inch depth for my bag. straps. The width of the fabric you cut will be 4 times the width of the finished strap. My finished strap is 24 by uh, 1 inch which means that the width of the strap that I'll have to cut will be 24 by 4 inches. Naturally you should have two straps. To start assembling the bag, lay out one piece of fabric. I'm starting with the outer fabric, which will be pinned right sides together. This means that the sides of the fabric that you want to look at should be pinned facing, pinned facing each other. You'll later split the bag right side out, meaning that you'll finally see the front side of the fabric that you want to see instead of the back side of the fabric. Okay, so time to start pinning. Only three sides of the fabric are need to be pinned. The side of the fabric that doesn't need to be pinned will not be sturdy. It will be the opening or top of the bag. Also, don't pin the corners because that won't, part won't need to be sewed either. Make sure the pin parts are facing out of the fabric. That way they'll be easy to take out when you sew. Pin close to the edge. Pin the lining in the same way except for the fact that you should leave an opening that can fit four fingers on the side of the fabric that will be the bottom which also means the side that has two squares on either end of it. I didn't have to worry about pinning right sides together for the lining because both sides of it are the same. Now that you're done pinning the bag, it's time for the straps. To start, fold the first strap in half the long way and mark the fold with chalk or a marker. Then unfold the fabric and fold it again, but this time to the middle of the fabric, which is to the mark that you just made. Hold this down with a few pins and then do the same to the other side of the fabric. This time, instead of adding more place holder pins, fold one half of the fabric onto the other. Remove the place holder pins from one side of the fabric and pin all layers together. Now you should have four layers of fabric pinned together for just one strap. It will be sturdy. Do the exact same thing to the second strap. Two skinny pieces of fabric that will also be your straps. Make sure everything is pinned. 
Okay, guys, I saw in time. So, I saw from the top of the bag where the pin stuck. Make sure the pin heads are facing inside of the sewing machine. Also, when you start sewing, make sure to back stitch. Use the presser foot as a guide, which means that you should line one edge of the fabric against the side of the presser foot. Always use the presser foot as a guide unless I tell you not to. Each time you use your pin, stop and take it out. Continue to sew around the bag. Make sure you skip over those two corners that you cut out. You know you're done with sewing these two pieces of fabric when three sides are done. except don't sew that opening where you did not cut. Remember, press the foot as a guide. Straps. Remember, press off as a guy. This may take a while because they are long. Once you're done sewing the line straps, Take the lining back. To make them have depth, find those squares that you cut out to form corners. Now, uh, this part is a bit confusing. Find the inside corner of the square and print the two pieces of fabric apart from that point. This should leave you with a straight line of fabric where one square used to be. Print this line with a few pins and make sure the two sides are aligned. Do the same to the other side. to the other bag and when you're done with both of them they should look sort of like bags now take your sewing machine and sew those four areas slash lines that you just picked both bags should be completely sewn except the opening of course Make sure all the points are poked. Once that's done, figure out where you want your straps to be. I put mine 4 inches into the bag on each side. After you mark the place you want your straps to be, pin the straps there. Make sure about a half is sticking up above the opening of the bag. 
Obviously, once you're done with the first side, flip the bag over and pin the straps in the same place but on the new side. Once you're done pinning, take your lining bag. Don't flip it right side out. Put the outer bag in the lining bag with everything else in the lining bag too, including the straps. Make sure the edges of both bags are lined up. Okay guys, I hope you weren't sick of pinning yet because there's still a lot more to go. It's time to pin all the way around the bag. Start with the seams. Once you get to the straps, remove the pins but then repin them, this time going through the lining bag, the strap, and the outer bag, which is inside everything. Okay, so time to sew. Remove the accessory case from the sewing machine. Put your bag around the arm of the machine, making sure that one side of the bag is not under the other. You should be able to turn the bag around the arm without it getting stuck or falling. Now you can start sewing. This time don't backstitch. Once you get to the beginning of your sewing, which is also the end because it's a circle, overlap the stitches by one inch. Making sure, make sure you're sewing over the straps and everything else pulling the pins out as you go. So it's finally time to flip your bag right side out. Find that four finger opening in your lining bag which should be at the bottom of the bag. Pull the fabric inside of the bag out. It's like a magic trick. Make sure to point poke all the corners. You can stick your hand through the hole in the lining. top stitching which involves pinning around the bag one last time and sewing around the bag again. To do this, roll the seam with the lining of the outer fabric with your fingertips and pin all the way around the bag. This just keeps the lining into the bag but is totally optional. done, bring it to the sewing machine and sew around the bag again, but this time sewing as close to the edge as possible instead of using the presser foot as a guide. Sew all the way around the top of the bag and overlap the stitches one inch as you did before. gag you made in the lining, it's time to sew that close. Pull that out from inside of the bag and pin the uh, line thing by like pulling the corners with your fingers. Sew as close to the edge as possible.
give your bag a haircut, put the lining back into the bag, and you are done.